Welcome back to the 9PL podcast. We've got another team announcement today. Very exciting news. The one and only Mr. Alex Glenn. Welcome, mate. Thank you, brother. Tell me about your team. Yeah, bro. So it's um, I'm pretty excited and pumped about um, entering into the into the competition. Um, you know, it's when you came and see me last year, I, I wasn't prepared for it. You know, I was still <laughs> fresh out of retirement. Um, but this year round, um, playing a bit of touch throughout the year, just I got that bug back in me, and I was like, you know what, this would be a great opportunity to bring the boys together and and jump in it, bro. So uh, we entered a legacy team and. Uh, the players that you know I'll mention later on, bro. It's uh, it's a bit exciting, man. Tell us tell us about legacy through movement. Now I know that you're uh, a gym owner now. Um, you know I think it's a great a great transfer for any ex NRL guy because it's team environment. And I've been lucky enough to play some social touch with you. You're the most competitive person I've <laughs> ever met. I reckon after you, after you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in terms of team environment and culture I mean I was lucky enough to go down and, and, and have a few sessions at Legacy as well and that's definitely sort of how you live your life mm. tell me about Legacy what's what's the creation of it G- give us yep. the background of, of Legacy yep. so um, uh, when I retired from from footy um, you know I started training at a place called AMPM which um, originated from one of our boys Johan Yogi as we called him and um, he was a the Cali God on the coast, bro. He was the one that brought calisthenics to Gold Coast and he would train every Sunday down at the Burley Bars and I always, as a player, I always um, admired their their community they created and I wanted to be a part of it but you know firsthand, when you play footy, you want to recover as much as you can so trying <laughs> to train on my days off, it just wasn't um, happening. So when I retired, I started training with Jerry um, and, and the boys down there and um, I started talking to Jerry because I've known him for over 15 years. We're both Cook Islander boys, met through our families and all that stuff and I always said to him, you should have your own space because he always helped other people build their gyms. He was imagine, uh, the gym manager at AMPM at the time. I was like, you need your own space. And he goes, yeah, I'd love to one day, one day. Um, and then long story short, AMPM was folding and I was like, you know what, let's go speak to the the owner because our boy Yogi passed away, mm-hmm. uh, it'd be six, seven years ago. Yeah. Um, I could be wrong on that on that date, um, but it, it was around that time and um, his business partner at the time, um, you could feel just the passion wasn't there anymore. Mm-hmm. So we went and caught up with him and said, oh, would love to take over AMPM. At the time, he didn't want to sell. Um, there was a, it went into a lot more in depth, but we don't have that time, the time for that. But long story short, he ended up not wanting to sell the brand to us, so we we're a bit gutted about that. Um, being our our friend that passed away's legacy, and for sure, we every time we start talking about it, legacy kept coming up. How can we create a brand that will carry on his legacy? And how do we, you know what I mean? So that work kept coming up, and I was like. All right, let's jump on trademarking. Legacy was already taken. So we thought, how about we create legacy through movement? Because we're going to carry his legacy on through the movement that we do, not just in the gym, but in our community. And as um, soon as so we good. said that, bro, it just a light bulb moment went off. And ironically, through movement, clash with TM. So if you see our branding on my shirt here, we got a huge legacy yeah. and then a small TM, which looks like legacy trademark, but it's actually legacy through movement. Yeah, yeah, good you way to dodge I mean? them. Good way to <laughs> dodge them, bro. Because at the end of the day, like legacy through movement, it's a long brand. So we wanted to focus on that legacy. Yeah. Um, and that sort of came alive, man, in terms of we were able to snap up the location Great location, great parking. Where? Um, where down do, at where Miami. Do we, where do we uh, find 54 you? Paradise Ave in Miami. Just down Good by, um, yeah, the fish markets there. It's a great spot. It's off the Gold Coast Highway. Um, tucked away. There's a lot of parking there um, for, for our fam, which is a hard thing on the coast to find. Um, and we're right next to RMC, which is Recovery Massage Center. So it works Perfect. hand in hand <laughs> yeah. for us. You know what I mean? Because yeah. for us at Legacy, it's about, we know there's thousands of gyms out there, but it was about one trying to incorporate a team environment like you said with footy it's a great transition for me because now we've built our new team Mm. and our community feels a part of a team they feel validated um and as human beings we look for that validation within our life and so we we try to create that um we wanted to eliminate ego we wanted to eliminate um you know intimidation that you walk into a gym because 
anyone that doesn't go to a gym, you know, consistently, there is that intimidation. For of, sure. Or there's that self doubt in, in their capabilities of like, oh, I'm not on that level. I don't want to come into legacy. But, you know, for Sam, when you walk in that door, we cater for every every um, level of fitness. Yeah. It's not just, you know, for the elite. You can you can be a first timer that walks in and we got, you know, we got different um, avenues in terms of building you up to that status. Um, so it's been beautiful. I absolutely love it. I can't take my hat off to my staff because without them, where we are in the 18 months, it would never have been possible. You know, Jerry's been there. He's there every single day. Yeah. Whereas me, like he's on the graveyard shift bro, at like he, three a.m. Times he, I've gone in, he's hundred percent. He's already bro. pumped a two hour session. Hundred <laughs> percent. He is literally in there three mm. in the morning. There's about eight boys at door, um, and we call it the Dawnies that you can see on the oh, hat. <laughs> yeah, sweet. The Dawn Service, bro, um, and they they keep each other accountable. Yeah. Um, I did start off in that in the Dawnies, but like with my line of work bro i'm just here there everywhere so the 3 a.m's were a bit too early for me man Mate, and the young family as well it's ridiculous oh like, bro it doesn't stop it <laughs> doesn't stop whereas a lot of those boys they're in bed like jerry's in bed by six yeah you know what i mean Mate, I'm I'm struggling to get my kids on the on the dinner table by <laughs> six you know yeah so yeah my training regime um differs but i try and get in there for the 5 a.m class I, I love to work out with with the the community in there um, and I try and push them and, and bring out the best in them. So it's a, it's a good vibe and we're loving it. Um, there's been, like any business, there's some learning curves as well. For sure. Um, but, you know, my staff has been amazing, bro. And mm. I try and surround just our, ourselves and around and our community. I try and surround them with good people. Yeah. And I couldn't pick a much better bunch of people to work at Legacy Through Movement. So it's, be, it's been beautiful. That's awesome, man. I think you attract what you're after as well. And I mean, you're, like you said, you're a huge community person. I've I've walked down the street with you a couple of times and you stopped every 10 meters because you're chatting to people, mm -hmm. but genuinely know them as well. And you've always taken time, which is, you know, hugely appreciated, certainly with the status of what you've built yourself as being a rugby league player. But now as a community and a family man, mm -hmm. I think that you've transitioned really well. So Thank it's, you, bro. it's great to, it's great to see you, um, I suppose collaborating with people who think the same way inclined and attracting those people who, who want to come through the gym. And, and as you mentioned, the variety of what you offer in the gym from Kelly yeah. to strength to, you know, hardcore fitness. I was dying a couple of sessions there. Um, but you know, I think it does cater for everyone. And like you said, you've got young and old and everywhere in between. So hundred bro. And one cool thing was on the weekend, I, I took them through a Bronco. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I, I ran You're a field bad session um, because the amount of the amount of fam that come through and they ask, oh, like, when are you gonna, you know, take a session and all that? And don't get me wrong, I love the gym, but I've never been a coach in the gym. You know what I mean? Yeah. So going out on the field, that's that's my that's your element. That's my element. Yeah, back bro. back in the dungeon. And I was like, you know what? If they want it, let's let's run it. So we ran a we ran a, a com block on the field, um, and it was pretty tame. Yeah. Like I, I didn't want to break them, bro. Um, but. I, I took them through a session that we will do at the Broncos and as a lead and uh, running 40, 40 repeats on, on time oh. and all this stuff. And it was a little good, good little introduction. Good yeah, good taste. Um, and then at the end, I said, all right, this is, we call this the Bronco test. And if you want to give it a crack, I want you to come down this end. If you want to do a bro broken Bronco, which is still going to be hard, but it's a little taste as well, you come on this side. Yeah. And pretty much 90% went down there have a shot they wanted to give it a crack awesome at the time ricky was there too jordan ricky come yeah, down yeah i see had a run yeah zebby taylor had a run as well so i think they're trying to impress ricky to be honest <laughs> yeah uh, so everyone went down there and I, I explained it and for the ones that don't know the the broncos test we've be, we've been doing that since 2008 um and it's it's a 20 meter shuttle um, a 40 meter shuttle, 60 meter shuttle. That's one. You got to do five continuous. And the the when you first come back to preseason, the borderline testing to get out of Fat Club was five minutes. You had to get under five minutes. Yeah. It seems like nothing because it's a 1.2 test, right? And people do 1Ks in four minutes, 40, yeah. even quicker. Split. So it doesn't seem that hard. But when you're doing rebound work, returns, man. Mate, your third, oh your God. third set. You, you feel the lactic acid build up. And so I was very surprised and um, impressed that 
everyone that went over there and gave it a red hot crack. I think Ricky, maybe one other was the only ones that got on the fire, but everyone else was coming in that five, five oh five, five ten. That's still good, eh? Bro. Off the couch. Like, Amazing. Off, even if you're like generally fit, but if you don't practice and if you don't have boots, uh, yeah. Because I, I, I think I've seen some of your footage that you chucked out. A lot of people were just in joggers. Joggers, and it's bro. Slippery. Zebby was the only one. <laughs> yeah, he's prepared. He's he wanted. Prepared. He wanted to break that. Yeah. Four yeah. minutes fifty yeah, or something. Yeah, hundred. But it's yeah. Well, that's awesome that you're um yeah giving them a taste of that as well as yeah. you being back in your element. You would have felt yeah. good. Back it, on the grass, you know, coaching. Was, yeah, bro. It was amazing. It was amazing to see to a point that the feedback we got off everyone, it's now getting put into our schedules every second Saturday. We're going to do sessions like that. Well, that's it's interesting because I know that you sort of mentioned just before that I approached you last year to chuck in a team and then you weren't prepared. Now this year you've got a side. I I'd absolutely envision a legacy preseason leading into next year's comp, like a four year, four week preseason in 100%. there, or you know six, eight, ten week, whatever you want yeah. to try and do. Depends yeah. on how busy people are. Yeah, hundred um, percent. But that's that's the point of it. Like you want. You want to be able to leverage things that you've already learned, bring them back into your business, but mm. also, you know, get boys back together. Like you'd said, yeah. it's another opportunity. Yeah. You've got a you've got a large um, friendship network group, and you you get to be in control of bringing them as lads back together, which is super exciting. But what 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 made you interested in other than me hammering you, <laughs> texting? <laughs> and stuff, what 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 generally makes you interested in in entering this legacy team into nines? Yeah, well, um, what's it? It's I guess with the touch component, playing footy in hand and that, you do miss that competitive edge. I think, you know, I'm very content um, in terms of the way I retired and all that. I don't miss that daily grind, bro. Like, it's full on. People don't un people really underestimate the commitment that you have to have at that level. It is fun because you, you're on TV and you're doing what you love, you're traveling the world, but your day-to-day -day is, mm. is full on. So... I don't miss that aspect, but I do miss playing the game of rugby league. Yeah. Um, I went up and played at Rocky uh, three weekends ago, and I played long Antonio Winterstein, Sammy Thider, and Ben Hanna, and um, it was just that that feeling of playing with your mates again. I miss that. And um, totally, the locker room attracts all of us oh, back, bro, doesn't 100%, it? Hundred percent, man. Like, I don't. Tackling's not normal. I don't. No. I never liked it ever. No. no. But being in in around the training sessions. Actually doing a Bronco and finishing with the group of people who are busted, like parts yeah. of that you just go, man, I miss this exhaustion, but also the the, the camaraderie you build with mates yeah. and your brothers. Like it's, yeah. it's so good. The the feeling that you get after a win in the locker rooms for that 20 minutes, bro, it makes everything worthwhile, you know what I mean? And so like when, when we started talking uh, about it and I was like, you know what, this is a huge opportunity to bring – all the boys that have retired, and there's been a few since we, since we've retired now, I was like, this is an opportunity. Because if I'm missing the, the game of footy and going out and playing with my mates, I know these boys are too. So mm. um, I thought, you know what? It's a great opportunity to bring all of us back together, enjoy each other's company for a weekend, have a bit of fun with it, yeah. win some cash prizes in that <laughs> as well while we're at it. Um, but no, James just, are here. Yeah, bro. Um, I just thought, you know what? Why not? There's, yeah. um, there's high caliber of players that, um, you know, have retired from the NRL now that are coming in this comp. So why not test our capabilities? Like you said, I'm very competitive in what I do. So why not see if I, I can still compete with some of the best as For well, sure. but also bring a line of, of young athletes coming through and expose them to, you know, the possibilities they can create for themselves. Yeah. Good answer, man. Because um, I think all those elements is exactly what we're after. Mm. You know, we were lucky to play first grade. You certainly quadrupled the <laughs> amount of games. <laughs> but um, I think it's, you know, the element of the friendships that you form at that level and the absolute grind you go through for a decade or more and then you, fi you finish yeah. and then you, like, try and catch up. Mm. Whereas you're given the – these guys are looking for an excuse to get together. Yeah. And why not under my mate's brand, you know, yeah. with him and, and, and him driving it. So I think there's there's other teams like yourself who are just super excited about – all those elements put in one. I get to yep. go have a run again on my own terms. I get to bring along my business and my family from my business as well. And yep. then I get to do it in my own community. So I think it's um, it's it's a good combination. But I suppose you, you you touched on it a little bit. Have you got a couple of names you can drop for us? I know that you've sort of shown me a few off air. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I don't want you to show the whole stack. G yeah. Give us give us one so you know are, are rock solid. 
who will be be in there that you think that it'll generate some good chat around why Legacy are going to win the the, the, the cash yeah, prize. Yeah, bro. Um, so I want to mention this guy because um, one guy that's already been on here, Matty Bowen. He's uh, he <laughs> he named the, dropped a couple of players and. I actually pinched this player from his team, <laughs> um, and that's that's uh, Josh Hoffman. Yeah. Um, he he was my fullback. We played together since two thousand and eight. Um, gun player. He's still playing at at the current um, up in the local. Yeah, he West Panthers. Comp. Yeah, he's a madman. And, um, I seen him put a shot on one weekend before the season finished, and this was about two weeks after I said I'm in for the legacy team, and I rang him straight away. Yeah, I was like, Bala, I want you to come play on my team. And he goes, Bro. <laughs> I said yes to Matty Bowen's team, and I go, nah, that's all good. That's all good. Um, but um, at the end of the day, where does your allegiance align, yeah, yeah, bro? Yeah. Day ones or what? And then he goes, nah, I'm staying. I'm coming with you, bro. I'm yeah. coming with you. And I was like, yes. Yes. Yeah, sure. Yes. So um, Josh Hoffman is one of my players. Yeah. Um, I got Corey Norman as oh, well. Oh, that's red hot. Corey Norman's just recently retired. He was playing over in London. Um, and he's now back for good. He's nine suited too. Seriously, like Bro. I think he won a. Did he win a nines comp at Para? <sighs> I felt like he, he might have won it when he was at Para. That when when the nines yeah, were I'm still in sure. clubland. I'm not sure. He's one of those players, right? <clears throat> he's just got all the ability in the world. Freak. Would never look at him as an athlete because you see him with his shirt off, man. <laughs> Terrible, <laughs> terrible. I love you, know me, but mate, <laughs> I used to call him Sid for my sake. <laughs> Sid the you sloth, know, the little, the little yeah. love handles and yeah. that, the wheel, yeah. the wheel around the hips. But he's one of those players that will just smoke everyone in a conditioning sesh. You'd never see him fatigued on the field. Yeah, um, his kicking game, his passing game, like he's he's got all the the boxes ticked yeah. for nine. So I got him. That's going to be playing for us as well. And then one that I'll, I'll drop, um, which I think is, is a marquee signing for us, is um, Drummy. I got Drummy, the Australian touch player. Oh, my God. Yeah, bro. So he's, he's I've been waiting up. for that to be confirmed. You heard it here first. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. Um, he was arguably the best touch player ever to play. Like he's in Benji's top five, 100%. which is a hard list to get onto. I think Sean Johnson's top five as well. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, so, it's a huge signing for us. That's bro. massive. He honestly, he was one of the first that I went after. I um, bet the reason is not many people would know this, but he he actually played a lot of league. Yeah, right. Um, down there at Southport Tigers and all that stuff. Um, okay. So he knows how to tackle. You know what I mean? So yeah. I was like, you know what? If we're playing nines, this is right up his alley, bro. This is right it's up his alley. Not heavy contact. Space. It's not heavy contact. Nah. One on ones. He's a gun at what he does, and age is just a number. You know what I mean? And Mate. he's he's a pinnacle of of that, bro. So it's funny. I I seen him at uh, one of our Monday um, night touch games, and he was down there watching the girls, his daughters, in that play. And the wife would come up to me, and she goes, "Mate, is there any insurance? Because like this is our our breadwinner here." Yeah, yeah, totally. I was like, Don't worry, I'll, I'll I'll look after him. I'll look after him. <laughs> yeah. Cause, uh, yeah, he's. He's going to be our marquee signing for sure. Man, I'll just make sure I'll, I'll tip up the ref. No one touches Drummond. <laughs> <laughs> Although I won't need to. He's going to leave ankles in the oh, lost and found box. Bro. I'm just, I'm <laughs> glad he's on my team and not someone else's Mate, team. That's because um, there's a lot of touchheads too who are in different teams who are playing. Yep. Like who've played a bit like yourself, had an upbringing of league and played touch all yep. the time. So hearing that name, they're going to go, oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to start trading now. Yeah. Was yeah. that Bronco again, Lexi? Was it yeah. 20 meters up from back? Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. No, well, for me, right, when I was mm. when I was thinking about the teams and the players that I want to bring into my team, I was like, why not? Um, yeah, there's a fun component, but why not bring um, a level of professionalism to it? You know what I mean? So Totally. I was like, you know what? Everyone might go, oh, you just stacked your team. But it's like, well, if we stack ours, then what's stopping you from stacking yours? You know what I mean? And over the years, I feel like I see this comp getting stronger and stronger and stronger. So I was like, you know what? Let's just start it now. Yeah. Let's let's bring as many boys as I can into this comp. Whether we win or not, you know, it's, it's not the, it's irrelevant. Yeah. Um, it's about bringing the boys back together, have a bit of fun. But also, too, I'm going to be – I've got my younger cousin, Ronan Cuppy, that I never, ever got to play alongside because he's – He's like 22, 23, you know what I mean? So yeah. young. 
I was like, yeah, he's in my team. So this is a cool opportunity for me yeah, to play exactly. alongside my cousin that went to TSS, that's gone over to Irish rugby and played under their developments and all that. Um, so it's a cooler component for the younger youth that's in our team to, to play alongside maybe some of the, the idols that they looked up to. Yeah. Um, and all the youth that's in the other teams as well, they're going to play against, you know, um, the likes of, um, you know, the boys that I mentioned, but Willie Mason and, and all these guys that they all idolize as well. So I was like, man, this is, this is a great opportunity for so many people yeah. to not only come and spectate, but also play, play in. And one of the boys that I've got coming over from New Zealand, um, you know, never made great or anything. Um, great player in, in Union, chased the opportunity back there. He's from Sydney. And um, I game with him as well. And he was like, bro, I'd love to come over and just come and watch. And I go, why watch? Come play. And he goes, no, nah, I'm not in that status. I go, yeah, but you looked up to a lot of these players. So why not for a jersey on? He goes, oh, are you sure? And he starts second guessing himself. I'm yeah. like, I'm, I want to give him an opportunity yeah. to, to do this because he looks up to so many players that's in my team. Man. And he's like just pinching himself, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it's really changed his habits and life now. He's going to the gym every single day. Yeah. You know, he's now sacrificing the fast food choices and meal prepping at home. You know what I mean? So yeah. this tournament ain't just about that weekend. It's nah. about the lead up to it. Yeah, it's, it's an about impact piece that, all yeah, right to in, in so many different areas. And I think what you've nailed as well is exactly what our vision is for it. It's get people from different codes who can play this game or can mm. learn it mm. that you can give an opportunity to whether they're mm. you know a 300 game first grader or some young buck who's who's got potential mm. and bring them in and i don't think i i think you're a moron if you aren't trying to stack your team yeah because this is a premier league competition we're yep. trying to go premier league and if you enter a side called legacy yeah you got to live you by the name pay. right so you, gotta... <laughs> you can't can't just put in a bunch of um, oh 100 percent bro <laughs> old dudes and uh you know, 100%. Some has been. So yeah be, yep. yeah i think i think the combination of everything you're pulling together is is super exciting man mm, thank um you. Is what, what what would be the ideal outcome for for legacy for this weekend? Just to, just in closing, what, what what are you what are you looking to get out of the Nines? Um, you know, I think, like I said, getting all the boys a, a, again together. Um, you know, rubbing some deep heat on on the legs and going out there <laughs> and competing, bro. Um, but we're we're going there to win it. Yeah, we're going there to win it, bro. Good. Um, we're not there to make up the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> we we're going there to win it um but i want to create a great entertainment for everyone so when they see legacy run on that field everyone knows there's going to be a game at hand for sure you know what i mean it's not just going to be a training run nah. so i want i want to bring that level of expertise and, and class and and compete and competitiveness within within the game and um yeah i think we'll have a, a big target on our head for sure yeah yeah going into it no no doubt i think that that you'll definitely raise plenty of eyebrows uh after we push this out into the socials mm. um i'm looking forward to it man and i really appreciate you you know chucking your hat in the ring i i can genuinely see legacy turning into a tournament side that that enters long term mm -hmm. and this is just if this is the start of it mm. who you've recruited what your mindset is about it and that whole community piece around um, you know, AMPM leading into legacy and bringing that team in there as well, and, yep. and and all those elements together, I think it's super exciting. So, yeah, thank you, my no, bro. My I pleasure, appreciate man. It and I'm I gotta, forward to it. I gotta give thanks to um you for having us on board, but also um our legacy sponsors, um you know, Badera Patios. Big shout out to them. They're one of our major sponsors. That's um Byron Baker, one of my close mates. When I when I pushed it out to to my my boys looking for sponsors, he was the first one that jumped on without. He's a king. Second, yeah, he's bro, a legend, he's a man. So big shout out to Brian and Badera Patios, and then also um, my my boy Lee. He's with LSC Shop Fitting. Um, they do all the shop fitting at Westfields and all over the country. Um, big shout out to him, and then last but not least, the old faithful Aspley Mazda. Yeah, Luke and the team up there. Um, we've been working together for the last eight years, man. And awesome. um, without these three guys' support, um, I wouldn't be able to recruit the team that I have. Because I got to make sure they're looked after, you know, you you know what I mean, and they got families to look after as well, and trying to get uh, our our physios in and masseuses to make sure our boys are looked after, yep. and ready for each game. So um, without our sponsors, none of this was possible. So I got to give 
praise to them. Totally. And we'll make sure we clip all those up, make sure we can share them out for you as well. But yeah, we, we, we don't have teams without the sponsors. So absolutely. Um, I don't reckon it was a hard sell to someone like Byron. He's, he's <laughs> the man and he, he'll, he'll jump in. Obviously, you've got uh, the other two there who are, who, are, who are willing to pitch in because of all the great work you're doing on and off the field, man. So thank you, bro. My Appreciate pleasure. it. And we'll reconnect after Chrissy. You know. And see where your team's at. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks, Sounds bro. good. Thanks.